Lee Jae-yong and Lee Da-young were famous female volleyball players in South Korea, formerly playing for the Incheon Hyunguk Life Pink Spiders. These volleyball players gained fame for being twins on the team and through their social media and TV show appearances. However, after a victim accused Lee Jae-yong and Lee Da-young of school violence during their middle school years, the netizens have demanded that the Korea Volleyball Federation reform their systems so that the federation can deal with these types of incidents in the future. After the accusations of the twins participating in school bullying, those in the Korean entertainment industry started to face similar accusations too. By the end of the week after the twins were indefinitely suspended, around 10 K-pop idols were accused as well. Currently, there are around 14 people in the Korean industry being accused of school bullying. But school bullying has been occurring for decades, and this is not the first time a celebrity has been accused of school bullying. Then why are the school bullying scandals in the Korean entertainment industry erupting today? There are three theories as to why the accusations have erupted. The first theory is that it is a chain reaction that is making the victims gain courage causing the bully scandal to erupt. The surge of school bullying accusations against Korean celebrities is very similar to Me Too movement in 2017 where women who were sexually abused spoke up against perpetrators. In the Me Too movement, once some women were able to speak up, others were able to gain courage and speak up as well. Speaking up against celebrities who were school bullies also takes a lot of courage. However, some people break the silence, others are able to find courage to do the same. Yonghun Lee, an assistant professor at the Hong Kong University of Science and Technology, said that the rise in the cases has a bit of a social movement element, meaning they are motivated by others speaking up. He also claims that people are more motivated when they see the stars responding to the allegations or getting punished. This is why there is a chain reaction of victims speaking up after gaining courage from others or seeing perpetrators being punished. This chain reaction is the permanent theory for why the topic of celebrities past bullying so highly. While most of the victims are making genuine accusations after gaining courage, there are also accusers who are doing it just to jump on the bandwagon. Before we talk about the second theory, we just want to make sure that we are stating that jumping on the bandwagon is just a possible theory for the minority of accusations. Coming back to the second theory, accusations that have been written from victims who jumped on the bandwagon include anecdotes that are exaggerated or that include false testimonies. These false testimonies from accusers might be motivated by their desire to join a community, or simply to gain attention. For example, a famous former basketball player and currently a basketball coach, Hyun Ju Yup, has been accused of past violence and the law group Minju responded by saying that the accusations were not true and that the accusers were just jumping on the bandwagon and as an outcome, the reputation of Hyun Ju Yup has degraded greatly. These exaggerated accusations and anecdotes are increasing because even questionable or vague accusations are taken seriously due to the heightened interest in celebrities' past behavior. Furthermore, these testimonies are based on the celebrities' school years, which most of the time are years ago, making it difficult to check if testimonies are true or not. The last theory is that some netizens are using the movement as an opportunity to defame certain celebrities. When celebrities are accused of school bullying, whether it is true or not, their reputation is tarnished, making it nearly impossible to come back into the spotlight. With the movement of victims speaking up against their previous bullies increasing, those who want to tarnish another celebrity's reputation use this movement as their cover. In some cases, some netizens accuse celebrities, but others who were in the same class or were the alleged victims refuted their accusations. Also, some accusers show little evidence and very vague statements on the stars in their accusations. This theory is not far-fetched because it has been known how far anti-fans would go to harm celebrities or tarnish their name, and there has been instances of defamation in the movement. Once again, this is just a theory that might explain why there are so many accusers and why there are a few accusers with no basis or evidence, which is a minority of the accusations.
We have answered the question: Why is the topic of celebrities' past bullying so heightened? Through three different theories: gaining courage, jumping on the bandwagon, and defamation. Even though we have answered the question, it is not the only question that is brought upon the topic of school violence. We will present another question that can be brought up: What is the standard of school violence? Kim Yun-sik from the interview by Yonhap News says that. It is dangerous that people can be swayed by subjective descriptions and past memories of victims and witnesses. In other words, Kim Yun-sik believes that it is hard to make a standard of school violence, since incidents that regard emotions often have subjective descriptions and manipulated past memories.